Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from Nevada, uh, getting ready to leave this uh, beautiful RV park that I'm at here, uh, Riverside uh, Resort. And I've been here for about a month, uh, about three or four weeks anyway. I was here a couple of times. And now I'm going to hook up my camper and go to Cedar City, Utah. And I want to demonstrate to everybody the proper way of installing your weight distribution hitch. And a weight distribution hitch, what it does is when you have a lot of weight on the tongue of your vehicle because you've got a heavy camper, you get this action. And we want to get this action. We want it to be level because when we have a lot of weight on the back wheels of our vehicle, our front end is very light. And when you're driving, if the front end doesn't have enough weight down on the front, it doesn't have the proper traction. So we want to distribute the weight from the axles of the trailer, equally with the axle on the tow vehicle, front and rear. So the proper way of doing it, which we're not gonna do because I already know what mine takes, is to measure from your wheel well here to the ground or to the center of your axle. Most people just measure from here to the ground and that's called squat. But we can just see if we back up and look at the vehicle that my Tundra that can tow 10,000 pounds is squatted because of the tongue weight of this um, almost a thousand pounds. I think it's about 800 pounds uh, tongue weight that I have. I have two batteries, two 30 pound propane tanks. And in the back of my truck, I've got a big heavy generator sitting there, two propane tanks. There's a lot of weight here. So the truck is, is sagging. We're gonna fix that right now. So the first thing we do is with your weight distribution hitch, these are the weight distribution bars. And they slide up into the bottom of the hitch here. And what we do is we just lock them in. And these are gonna now go with this crowbar. They give you, I lost the one I had, but this is, a, this is working just fine. Pull this out, you bring this down. I can see it. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring um, this chain to about this link. But you see, it won't go up. So how do we do it? I'll show you in just a minute. Let me put the other one on the other side. So as I go around the other side there, my videographer is just showing you the weight distribution hitch there. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over there. Here he comes. He's coming. And I'm just gonna take this, this locks in. You gotta give it a good shove up in there. See, that's not down in there. Up in there, I should say. There we go. Now, you wanna raise your truck like you're trying to pull the ball right out of here. So you wanna make sure your trailer is locked down. And now we're gonna raise, I'll show you here. You're gonna raise the truck to where this looks like it's like this. That's so we can get those chains on. Then when we set it down, those chains will get taut and it'll be level. But let me just show you. I will actually go to the other side because of the sun and demonstrate the uh, first link over here. All right, so we're gonna raise the uh, truck up. As you can see, actually, I just now lowered it a little bit more and you can see how much more my truck is sagging. Uh, now all that weight is sitting on that truck. That truck is really sagging down. So let me lift the truck up. Here we go. And we can tell these links are gonna get closer to this hook right here. You can see they're coming up more and more. I want to get this on up. See, it's lifting my truck. Look over there. It's lifting my truck up. Look at that. I mean, it's crazy. Look at that. I've got my truck really lifted. This is where the mistake is that most people do. You know, they put, they, they get it high enough to get like one, uh, one link, 
me show you. We've got to get this up a little bit where it'll actually grab the hook. Right now, look, I can only get this hook here. That's not good. We need to have at least one, two, three, four off, maybe five. Let me see if I can do it. I think maybe four is going to be the number for us. And we're going to have one, two, three, four uh, left over. So we've got a long way to go. We've got to get that truck up because I cannot reach that hook. Oh, yeah, we are going to go for five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to have one, two, three left. That's the key. So let's come on up a little bit more. I can't get it. See, it's not going to do it. Let's get it up higher. I mean, it's really trying to pull that ball right off. Okay, look. I'm going to pull this, this on here. Look at that. Now, that baby is on there. I would have never have gotten that on there. But when we drop the truck, we haven't dropped the truck yet. Let's put our safety pin on. Put the safety pin. Don't forget that. The cotter pin. And we'll put the stabilizer switch on afterwards. Also, we'll put our cables on afterwards. Well, let's go to the other side. All right, so before we finish, I want to remind you, look at how much height I have on my wheel well, because my truck, that that tongue jack is way up high. And now I'm going to do the same thing. How many links did we have? We had three from the bottom, one, two, three, and it was on this one. So we're going to put it on. Oh, my. Not even close, is it? It's got to be the same. Oh, did you see that, folks? Did you see that? Very important. It wasn't in. You got to lube these. There we go. That was not locked in. One, two, three from the bottom. And the fourth one is the one we're going for. I thought, man, why is that not one, two, three, and then the fourth one? Why is that not this one right here is the one we want? It's very tough. You got to get it on there and then hold it so it doesn't slide off. It's very important you get it very tight. Where it doesn't slip. Here we go. Woo, baby. Oh, let's put our cotter pin in. Right here. That baby is. Now, how tight do you think that's going to become when I start lowering my tramp, my, uh, my trailer hitch now and watch what happens I'm coming down this is getting taut this is getting so tight and look look at the truck now go ahead and look at the wheel wells back up a little bit all right the trailer hitch is off this bucket now I am completely on the ball I'm on the back of the truck I'm bringing my hitch up. That's high enough. Right about there. And now look at my rig. Back up a good 10 feet and you can see everything is level. The wheel well right here is a nice gap. I may only have one inch and an inch to two inches is tolerable. But I'm pretty much right where I was factory stock. All because I have a weight distribution hitch and what people fail to do is jack their vehicle up really high so they can get just those last three links from um, one two three and it's on the fourth link so you have one two three four 
five. It's on the fifth link. That's generally the number most of them will take. And now when we finish up, we get our cotter pins in, we take our chains and we crisscross them, put one here on the uh, trailer hitch, and then we grab another one over here. And then this is our, our safety brake chain right here. We're making a video. Okay, so um, we just put this little cable right here on our uh, trailer hitch, separate from the chain, and that is a emergency brake on the wheels of the um, trailer. So if this was <laughs> for some reason come off, which you could like darn near impossible, don't forget to put your cotter pin in your trailer hitch. So that can't come off. We got these crossed, we got our brake thing on, and now let's put on the anti-sway bar. This is another thing that people do incorrectly. Please let me show you. Three, two, one. All right, so what we have here is a friction sway control. It's a sway bar. The purpose of this, we already know what the weight distribution hitch does. That keeps the, the truck level with the camper. And now we have equal weight on our rear axle and our front axle of our tow vehicle. And our, our camper is not going down a road like this. It's level. Sometimes, depending on how you load your camper with weight, when you're going a certain speed, the camper can have a tendency to fishtail. So how we prevent that, it helps prevent that, that swaying is a friction sway control. And this works very similar. It's very simple to do. I'll demonstrate to you. You take these little cotter pins out. It goes right on. Put those there. You have a ball right down here that's mounted to your trailer. They will have to install that, drill some holes. It gets mounted. One end, first you start here the ball that's a little small ball that is on, see how this moves? Uh, this small ball is on your trailer hitch. Then you can just drag it to where it meets that little ball, stick it on. And then of course we put our, our pins in so it won't fall off. It's very important you do it correctly where they come through both holes and that isn't gonna come off now. This one did without the cotter pin in. And then this one's a little tricky, you gotta see it it goes in the top hole. Make sure you get, there it is. Now, not coming off. So right now when you turn, this slides in and out. What you do is you tighten it up. My, my first instructions I heard from someone was tighten it up like it's snug like that and then back it off a little. That does no good. The man I bought my camper from at Camp Oaks RV, which I highly recommend, in Dahlonega, Georgia, told me this. How are you gonna prevent swaying and fishtailing if that's not nice and tight? Now, when you go into gas stations and you turn real sharp because this is gonna be tight, you're gonna hear chattering. That's normal, don't let it bother you. You're gonna hear it. But here's what he did. He cranked it. And he cranked it. And there you go. You really get that baby on there. I'm not saying you over tighten it, but you, you definitely wrench that baby on. So now that little bar is not gonna slide in and out. And when this camper tries to go like this, this is gonna prevent that. So now we have this corrected, we have this corrected, we have all of our weight and loading overloaded. <laughs> I'm probably a little bit over because of my uh, uh, payload capacity I have on my truck here, but she tows 10,000 pounds. I've got a 6,500 pound camper, uh, dry, but we have to add for batteries, propane, your clothing and all your stuff in there. And I've towed it from Florida and I'm in Nevada and she's just fine. Also, I have Dexter axles, uh, which are the same ones they put on like Airstreams. 
and they literally dig in when you turn, when you come off an exit, these babies dig in like a sports car. I highly recommend the Flagstaff Micro Light. I have the 25 FKBS. They run about 40 grand. This is a 2024, it's got the best floor plan of any camper I've ever walked inside of. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how to properly uh, install a weight distribution hitch and your anti-sway bar. So when you get yours, get out there and do it right and crush it.